Greetings, Ian from RTO here, and oh, welcome to a very special um, retro ranking this week. Um, it's just paying a tribute to Gary Brooker, um, keyboardist, founder member of Parochial Harem. Sad loss. He, he uh, um, they were always very underrated. I think Procol Harum. They made some fantastic albums. Um, I've got a few of their earlier ones, and obviously I've got like a greatest hits anthology album, and they have fantastic tracks. Didn't didn't go over well in the ch single charts, but they very their albums did better um, they were formed in 1967 they've got influences they're a sort of classical psychedelic rock proto rock with hints of blues rhythm and blues and soul it was a mixture and Gary Brooker had such an in unique vocal obviously he wrote so they wrote some of the greatest I think they wrote one of the greatest pop songs ever, um, which we'll talk about later. Um, so uh, we sadly missed. Um, okay, as I said, Pokal Harum were a very underrated band. They should have had more success, I think, than they deserved. They deserve so much more success. But um, I do love this band. Well, you know. I love that, it was the psychedelic prog rock that I like. Okay then, so here are my top 10 songs, well my personal top 10 songs from Procol Harum. So coming in at number 10, this was a single from 1977, so it was towards the end of their career, and it's called Wizard Man. Didn't chart anywhere. But the guitars in this is great, and I do love Gary's keyboard in this. It's fantastic. It's a shame this didn't chart, but it's a really good song. Gary's vocal is great on this. Um, the thing is, you're going to be able to check these out. I'll put the whole. I'm going to put in all of the tracks in the um, playlist today, even the um, honourable mentions, because. We are celebrating here, Gary Brooker. Um, I like that track a lot. Okay, coming in at number nine, we go to 1970 and the album Home. And the track is called The Dead Man's Dream. Very similar to another song that we'll be talking about later. I love the piano in this. You got a great bit of piano from Gary, then some really strong keyboard runs. Uh, really, really good track. Um, again, a great vocal from from Gary. Okay, then coming in at number eight. Um, this is a B side from 1967. It's the B side of a whiter shade of pale. Uh, and this is called Lime Street Blues that bluesy keyboard from Gary some great drumming excellent little track that is nice b-side pretty cool okay coming number seven for me we go to 1969 another single that didn't chart the devil came from Kansas the guitar work is absolutely mind-blowing Robin Troa, good guitarist, a uh, great bluesy proggy track with a fantastic guitar solo, Gary's vocal is great as well, absolutely belting track. Okay, coming in at number six, another single, it was a live single called The Consequator from 1972, got to number 22 in the UK and number 16 in the USA. Nice track this is. The studio version's good as well, but the key, the I think the live version is far better. 
Great vocal from Gary and his keyboards are so good in this. It's a fantastic track. Okay, coming in number five, uh, we get a 1975 a song that got into the UK charts, got to number 16. It's the brilliant Pandora's Box. Very weird, but I do like it. Uh, Gary's vocals are quite eerie in places. Uh, the drumming on this is sublime. I think it's BJ Wilson's drumming on this. Don't. Uh, quote me on that um, but it's brilliant super track ok coming to number 4 we've got a 1970 another single that didn't chart Whiskey Train great riffs here from Robin Troa so belting drumming from BJ Wilson it's just sublime on this and a very very strong vocal from Gary Brooker absolutely fantastic track ok number 3 another single that didn't chart Bringing Home the Bacon this is fantastic these tracks are so deep cut uh, again you got the BJ Wilson drumming he's just brilliant on this and this is some of Gary's best keyboard work absolutely brilliant song it just blows me away when I hear this song you have to play this one loud as well no good putting it on one or two you know put it up to 11 pretty good uh, track okay coming at number two got another single it managed to scrape in the top 50 at number 50 in 1968 quite wrote rightly so the piano work on this from Gary spot on uh, I just love the vocal on this it's a real quirky song um, again Robin Troa's guitar work on this is superb one of my favourite tracks by um, Procol Harum without a doubt uh, really really strong track so everyone knows what number one is <laughs> of course it is 1967 Whiter Shade of Pale right what can we say about this it got to number one in the UK Australia Canada but only made number five in the USA what are you doing America number fifth no only it got to number 15 number five sorry I'm I'm, I'm getting in a mess here but then it was re-released in 1972 in the UK and it still got to number 15. And the other fact of this song, it's one of the few singles to have sold over 10 million, yes, 10 million copies of one song. Fantastic. What can you say about it though? The lyrics are just something about nothing, uh, which I love. I love lyrics that really have got no meaning but Gary sings them beautifully. Uh, the keyboard work from Gary on this is just brilliant, isn't it? This is a song that will never die. It'll be still played in 50 years' time. Because it is that good. It's a wonderful song. You never get bored of hearing this. Once you get that that opening keyboard bit, you're hooked and you discuss whatever you're doing. You sit and listen to it. Well, I do. Comes on the radio, on the telly, anything. Whatever I'm doing, I stop and I just sit and listen to it. Fantastic song, and it'll always be my number one vocal horror song because it's just a pure genius of a track. Okay, we have got some honourable mentions. The uh, first one today is a track called Grand Hotel from 1973. Didn't chart the UK, but it got to 117 in America. This is quite proggy. Uh, it's a, a bit of a story. that has got a choir on it. It's just outstanding stuff. Just couldn't get into my top ten. 
just like this next one from 1969 got to number 15 in the UK a salty dog the trouble with this band they made so many good songs and again this is on the on the borders of the top 10 it's a classic track um, but you have to mention this it's a great little track great vocal from from Gary um, again just like the last honorable mention from 1967 there was the follow-up to a wider shade of pale Hamburg got to number six in the UK number 34 in the USA very good follow-up song still in the vein of that song it's, it's a great song and you just cannot leave it out of an honorable mention okay I hope you've enjoyed this one I know there's a lot of uh, Procol Harum fans out there I know when I mentioned I was doing this um, I had a good mention about it uh, which was nice the person also put something out very nice about me which I'll talk about a little bit more on the live stream next, this week um, enjoy the tracks if you haven't heard much of Procol Harum go and check these tracks out because they are all fantastic um, and that's all for today uh, tomorrow is Marathon Wednesday and we have got a marathon tomorrow a viewers request it's one that's taken a little while to put together but we've finally done it we're looking at Dutch Rockers Golden Earring a really good band um, with that band um, I've only listened to really their 70s stuff so listening to their later stuff was a an eye opener I will, which we all find out tomorrow um, so join me for that have a great day everyone bye for now